Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Today I'm going to play with some of the um, brand new pre-order uh, items from the Stamping Up soon to be released Handmade for You Christmas catalogue. Now I'm not allowed to show you inside the catalogue until it goes on sale on the 1st of August. I think it's the 1st of August, but um, I can show you the cover. But I wanted to actually do a project today. I brought so many beautiful things on the pre-order. They've been sitting in a box since last week and I didn't didn't get a chance to even unpack them, let alone play with them. So last night I decided I was going to make um, a heap of customer thank you cards and I decided to do them out of some of the new designer series paper. Um, now this range here is called Heartwarming Hugs. There are some beautiful, beautiful ranges uh, that have been released but I'm just going to show you today this one because this is the one that I'm going to use in the project and you can see I've already used some so um, I'll just show you the front and back of these papers but you can see that they're not just Christmassy you know they can be used at any time of the year this is the one here that I have used in my project but of course you know they they're done with papers as real red mossy meadow but yeah not just for Christmas a beautiful gingham there which is just gorgeous beautiful red spot and then a Christmas stripe and then we have a green spot and a check on the back and then this one here that's gorgeous too isn't that lovely and that one reminds me of tweed and then that's it so you get your 12 sheets two of each and of course they're double-sided designs as mentioned this is the one that we're using in today's project now, I absolutely adore when stamping up, and it's one of my favourite things about stamping up, when they release a stamp set that has an accompanying punch. That is so much fun um, because it's just so easy to cut it out. You don't need dies. Um, and the punches are really, really good quality and I can operate them really well with my hands. I don't have to push too hard and, yeah, they're great. So that's what we're going to use today. We're also going to use this gorgeous um, winter snow embossing folder they have a whole snowflake range in this uh, new catalogue and I've ordered them all so we will be playing with them down the track but for this card I wanted to showcase the embossing card uh, embossing folder sorry and this is it here and I've already gone ahead and embossed my piece of real red but I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick up that beautiful embossing but that is extraordinary it's just delightful I love it so, without any further ado, we'll make this card. It's a very, very quick and easy card. It's there's nothing complicated about it at all. You need a Whisper White card base, which is five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter, and it's just scored down the middle. Um, and then the piece of real red is five and five eighths by four inches. And as I said, I've embossed that with the beautiful snowflake embossing folder. Then you'll need a couple of scraps of Whisper White that we're going to stamp on. And then you'll also need... Um, two pieces of your designer series paper and I'm using the green and this piece is five and five eighths by one inch and then we're going to put a cross cut across to make it look like a parcel and that piece is four inches wide so it's the same measurements as your piece of real red and um, just one inch wide so what we'll do to begin with because I've already embossed my piece of card there we will just use our liquid glue which is getting empty and we will just pop this now just eyeball it I mean it it doesn't really matter if it's a bit off off center you're never going to get it perfect um, but you can use a mat just to try to you know get it fairly straight and if you've got any overhang and I've got just a teeny teeny tiny bit of overhang there we'll just snip that off so that it's level okay and then we're just going to put our four inch piece across that to form what will look like a gift so that just goes across like that I mean you couldn't get an easier card really than this this is just effective but super super easy so we'll just pop that um, onto our piece of whisper white now 
The detail in these snowflakes on this embossing, I would just wish that you could see it up close. It's so pretty. Love it. Okay. That looks okay. So now that's all that's left to do is our bit of stamping. So we're going to use two stamp blocks. We're going to use our Real Red ink and we're going to choose one of the bows. Now these are the bows that fit um, in the punch. So we're going to use this one here with all the lines on it. That one is my favourite. So we'll use that to begin with. And then we have our sentiment. We'll get that popped up as well. So I used Wrapped Especially For You because I didn't want it to, you know, it's not a birthday card or anything like that. It's just a little gift. Now I'll just grab a third block because I did a bit of stamping on the inside. Now what did I use? I used this sentiment which says tied with love so I'll just pop that down here so it was tied with love and then there's a teeny tiny little piece of holly and berries and I just popped that up so it was on an angle of the wording and then just pop your block over that and that's what I used in the center so this has got 12 stamps in it and as I said these three larger ones do fit in the punch so they make makes them look very, very effective. Okay, so we shall ink up our beautiful bow to begin with. I might use that for the sentiment. We'll use this bigger piece of Whisper White. Now the punch also punches out a tiny little tag. You can see there. And you've got um, the little tag stamp that goes with it. And then it also cuts this thing out here, which I think fits the holly. Okay, so all you simply do is just line it up in your punch. Just trying to get it about right. And you can see those other little bits there that punch out. I'm just gonna get rid of those, we don't need those. And then we can move the punch on. And then we're going to use another scrap piece for our sentiment, which is wrapped especially for you. And then we're going to use one of our punches from the annual catalogue, which is going to be Label Me Fancy. And we'll just pop that inside our punch. beautiful and then before we put those onto the front of the card we might as well stamp the inside um, and we're going to pop our card up this way I think this time because I've I've managed to put it on the wrong way of course I did because I'm on camera it's okay there's no errors we can fix them all here we go so we'll get rid of our ink. And then what we're going to do is grab some dimensionals. And we're also going to use some bling. So the bling we're using is red rhinestone basic jewels and they're in the annual catalogue as well. So I've got a little piece of cut dimensional from around the edges of my dimensionals. Use those up on your little spots. Now what I did do actually on my original ones was I just used a stamp and blend and I just coloured in the centre of that bow just to give it a bit of extra colour. That's not necessary of course. But I was thinking about all the things I could use the bows for. You could go onto parcels, they could go onto envelopes. It's going to be a lot of fun using that one this Christmas. I can put them on the front of some of my cookie boxes that I make for some of my 
people, like the vet surgery, I always make them something every year, so these will be, yeah, really, really handy. They'll look really good. So this is a simple card. It's pretty easy, isn't it? It's just, um, we might pop that down here. It's just very, very basic, but um, very effective. And the purpose of the video really was just to show you how super, super easy it is to use them. Now they do have, um, when the catalogue becomes available to purchase from, they do have a bundle special so that if you buy the punch and the stamp, you do get a 10% discount for buying the set. So, and there we go. So that is the bling on my little card. So it's all done. Very simple and easy. I just wanted to showcase some of those products to you. I've got lots and lots of more um, projects um, lined up to come on and show you with these new products. As I said, they will be available in August. I've sent out all my catalogues. Um, so if you've been a past customer of, of mine, you will have received or will be receiving a catalogue and there may be a little card in there for you as well. Anyway, that's it from me today. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.